Hi guys, it's the RPG Brit here, and welcome to the first episode of a brand new Let's Play. Uh, so I've decided to play A Quiet Place, The Road Ahead, uh, which is newly out for the PS5. Um, obviously it's based on the films, A Quiet Place, so I'm really interested to see how that's going to translate into a game where basically you can't make a noise. You make a noise, you're probably dead. <laughs> if you've seen the films, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's dive straight in and give it a go. Uh, message of the day. Emotional concept art. Okay. And there's the uh, the creature. Right. So, I want to go story. Uh, new game. Adjust the brightness until that icon is barely visible. Go. Right, so let's see the differences. More resources scattered around the game world. A certain the creature will be less perceptive to your noises, allowing a greater margin of error. I mean, I'm thinking of just doing normal. Hard sleep probably seems a little bit ridiculous. A balanced experience between story and challenge. Just do normal. Survivor mode. Um, yeah, maybe not that. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But, um, Let's just do this. Alex. Alex. Over there. You see that? That's a leucistic white-tailed deer. Uh, Lewis, what now? <laughs> leucistic <laughs> means they have patches of white fur. And the sound. Let me just have a look. Uh, audio, because the voice is really quiet. Dialogues. I saw one up. So I'm going to turn music down a bit. Sound effects down a bit. Is that enable single channel audio where all channels are mixed into one signal? Okay. No, and dialogue keep that as full. Let's apply. Back. Back. Okay. Um, I, I thought that was called getting old. Okay. This is a huge deal. They're incredibly rare. <laughs> oh, I'd love some rare venison. I want to check something else actually. Two seconds. I'm back. So it'd only be a second for you guys. But I just wanted to yeah. get a drink. <clears throat> Wait here. I'm gonna check it out. Martin, hold on. Obviously, we're Alex. Mm -hmm. We're a woman. Where the hell did he go? Okay. So normal controls. Graphically, it looks alright. First impressions, pretty good to be fair. So me doing that, does that mean I'm making a sound? I'm doing it lighter. Oh, there you go. So yeah, that symbol down the bottom, I think, indicates... No, because I'm now moving faster and it's not picking up. Okay. Maybe that was nothing. Um, right, that's dark. Yeah, it must it must be something to do with sound later on on how fast you're moving. I'm guessing the yellow mark might indicate something you can climb over. Maybe. A bit like um horizon. Here you go, watch your step. Be careful and always watch your step. Different surfaces like water, dry leaves, glass, metal or debris can produce a noise sound and alert the nearby creatures. Great, so we've literally got to look at what we're stepping on and everything. Yeah, yeah you, you could hear the difference there. I know this is going to be tough. Um, when you can't avoid noisy surfaces, walking slower. Um, yeah. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, that's what we that's what we assumed. Walking slower, the sound would be less. I'm guessing it doesn't matter here. It's just teach us about it. So let's just carry on. Oh, 
But yeah, see another yellow mark, so that's something you can climb over. I want to have a look up here first if you can. No, nothing there. No, there's nothing there either. Okay, cool. Let's go this way then. Okay. Where has this guy gone? Doesn't seem to be a sprint button. Let's try all the buttons. Yeah, it didn't. Not bad to find this. Let's walk slowly. She got me whispering as well. <laughs> How mad is that? I haven't actually seen the latest. Oh. The like slam chat. I haven't seen the latest Quiet Place film. Um, was it day one? It's really good though. Um, if you guys have watched it, let me know in the comments if it's worth if it's worth it. Don't give spoilers away though, please. And normally, I'm not a fan of like massive stealthy type games. Um, which is this is probably not the best game to play. You can squeeze through narrow passages when an interaction icon appears. Yeah, see so that yellow again. Jesus. Doors open. Open door slowly to avoid unassuming noises. Okay. Ah. You can set custom sensitivity values. Okay, that's fine. I think we're happy with how it is, to be honest. We'll see, though. We'll keep an eye on that. Proper throwing you right in it. Oh, oh the cans. Oh, I already feeling a lot of suspense. Any of you that are watching my other current Let's Play, which at the moment is Anno 1800, um, I will be doing alternate videos of this and then that, um, just so I can mix it up a little bit. Oh, it doesn't look like there's anything in here that we can really do, so let's climb out. Ouch. Oh my god. <laughs> You're a fucking child! Oh come on, come on. That was funny. If you're five! Oh, just a minute. I got you pretty good. No, no, you didn't. I just I didn't know where you were. I didn't know if you were hurt or uh, Alex. And, and I can't I can't lose another. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, Jesus. Shit. Hey, 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 what, what do you need? You having a panic attack? Alex, come on, come on. 
please, please, please. Tell me how to help, okay? Martin? Mom? What is it? I, I don't know. She, she just... Alex, it's me. It's Laura. Can you look at me, dear? Okay, that's it. Just look at me. And breathe. Oh, that's my attack, maybe? Something like that? Got a trophy prologue. I tell you, one hundred and five. So we're deep into it now. Alex, made it. Thank Christ for the rain. This place is huge. Should we split up? Could be dangerous. Oh. Well, more reason to search this place as fast as possible. But we need food, Alex. Without it, the hospital won't make it. Red Cloud Ranch. Look for batteries, too. My flashlight just died. And for a radio. Why? Something I'm building. Could help all of us. Better keep quiet. The rain helps, but... Yeah. Yeah, you do. Oh, we're obviously still with them. Okay, so he's taking the right, I'm going to take the left. And we want food, batteries and a radio. I must explore the ranch and find supplies or the hospital is screwed. That sounds like rain, a water stream or a waterfall. I'm guessing that was going to say muffles it. New diary entry. Okay, cool. So... Uh, we've got to the ranch. Martin was right. The place seems abandoned, but in good condition. We could find something useful here. I can hear Laura blaming me for putting her son in danger, even if this was his idea. But our people need food and medicine. She hates me. We can't go back empty-handed. <laughs> so, batteries for the light. Shit to survive. Fantastic. Right. So obviously the sound is. I'm guessing it's okay. To walk a bit faster. Right. Anything with the car. I don't know if there's a clear indication as to what you can search or what. You know, sometimes when it like it flashes or whatever. Someone's been up here. There you go, see, like that icon coming up. Raiders beware. It worked. I know you told me not to try it, but damn it, Tom, it worked. I travelled to that waterfall about a half mile from here and snapped my fingers. Nothing, no creatures. Then I spoke at full volume for the first time since before the invasion and still nothing. Finally, don't kill me, I yelled, and still not a single creature. I mean, it's not a permanent solution, but at least we know louder noises will keep the creature from hearing us. I told you, Tom. I freaking told you. That's cool. Where Raiders, that's obviously locked. Let's carry on down here. Yeah, I'm guessing the sound is not an issue in the rain. So I'm going to keep walking faster. Should we head in here? Carry on looking. Let's get. Uh, let's just search out here quickly. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be a sprint button. I guess they don't want you to sprint. Be far too noisy. There we go. So they do kind of light up a little bit. Banner collectible. Total CR. When you find a shiny 
shuttle, you earn a certain amount of credits, CR, depending on its rarity. The rarity is expressed by its color. You can use those points to unlock additional content in the menu under extra, under the extra voice. Okay, cool. So it's like a collector for them. It probably unlocks like concept art and <laughs> stuff like that, I'm guessing. But that's cool. So we got a trophy. I think it was um, a distracted child or something. I'm guessing there's trophies to get all of the collectibles. Which chances are on a first playthrough, and obviously I'm doing this blind, is not going to happen. But I'll try and get as many as I can. Okay, so that's significantly louder. And that, I'm guessing, is where we've got to climb in. So yeah, I'm gonna have a look in the main door. Because I'm guessing we're gonna have to come back out this way and climb in that window. What do you do with a torch or something? If you see anybody, tell dad. Remember hide and seek. Yeah, I mean the creature's been there at some point. Okay, I think this is the way to go because it wouldn't be telling me this. Uh, you can see documents you found and Alex's thoughts by opening the diary with that button. Has the diary been? No. And there's the document. Okay. Mixtapes as well. Right, I'm going to go back because I think that's the way to go because that's why it's popped up with that little hint. So let's search the rest of this room. Doesn't look like there's anything. There's no icons popping up. You've got glass and stuff, so try and avoid that. Oh, there we go. That's going to lead into there to get that. Um, space rocket thing which I think is that what the kid was playing with on the bridge on the first one that was such a horrific scene it's making that noise and then the dad's running and it just it grabs it just before he gets there and they can't even make a sound Probably didn't last very long. We have no surprises for you. Oh, what's that icon? I mean, I'm breathing. So I can open the door. Thirty credits. So if there's anything else in here before we open that door, I think we're still good to walk a bit faster. So there's no food in there. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, playing this is actually making me really want to watch the films again. I might do a marathon this weekend, maybe. I just don't know if I can walk faster or not. Yeah, I'm guessing we're good because of the storm. But I am going to still try and avoid the extra loud bits. All right, what have we got here? Hey Sarah, SP. Isn't that spelling? <laughs> of course. How else are you going to spell Sarah? I guess we're at the H at the end. Um, 
thanks again for giving me your number, but Mr. Rice, my freak of a teacher, took my and all my classmates' phone so we could focus on nature or some shit. I thought, there's not supposed to be any cell reception here anyway, so what the hell? And I thought, oh God, what if Sarah thinks I don't want to text her? So then I thought, what if I just write her a letter or something? And then I thought about Julie D. Obigini, Ob, yeah, Obigini, Ob, Ob, Obigini, Obigini. <laughs> and how back in the 19th century, I know I'm butchering that name. I'm guessing that's a famous person. Um, she'd send letters to all of her lovers while she was off being a kick ass opera star and having sword fights and stuff. And it seemed, I don't know, super romantic. Not that I'm expecting this to be romantic or not romantic or whatever. Anyway, I wait your reply or not. If this was not, if, if this was a lot and you don't want to respond, that's like totally cool. No worries. Signed, Lydia. Okay. That's quite sweet. This is going to show my age, but I remember writing letters to, <laughs> normally to, uh, I say normally, always to girls. You're going to write a letter to, well, I was going to write a letter to a boy. Horses are just huge dogs. Mega mix. Got another trophy. Music single. So if I. Oh, sorry, it doesn't do anything now. It doesn't play anything. Right. Let's carry on. Silence is. What does that say? Looks like so fetty, Joshy. So what? Can't work out the handwriting. Right. Let's carry on searching the ground floor, and then we'll go up. All these bits where people have just dragged. Something, probably bodies. Let's face it. Oh, it's just dirt because people have been treading through it. Let Dad get the medicine. I just want to look here. Oh, that's the infirmary, so there should be medicine in there. Ernest. That darn kid snuck into my office again. I swear to God, he must be getting into the office through the upstairs vent. In bold. <laughs> and before you ask, yes, I'm certain I locked the door. Now, will you go check? Okay, so we're probably going to need to get in the office. By getting into the office through the upstairs vent. Okay. So there's going to be some vent crawling. That's the office, I'm guessing. Okay. Right, let's go in the infirmary, probably get some medicine in here. Looks like you should be able to just climb in there anyway, but anyway. Oh, that's locked. Huh. Guest rooms. Okay, I'm going to go up these other stairs. It does seem like. Those are the ones to go to get into that office, which is basically what we want to try and do to get in that infirmary. And this is not going to lead to anything. Okay. Cool. At least we've been there. So I feel like I'm starting to get relaxed, and <laughs> I just know... That that's when something's going to happen. Oh, hints. If you feel stuck, you can press down to have a hint on where to go for 
where to go for a few seconds. The hint also tells you which key action you have to perform to progress through the section. Okay. I don't think we need a hint at the moment, though. Oh, this is the letter back to Lydia, is it? <clears throat> yeah, it's actually Sarah, but all good. And what the fuck are teachers even allowed to do that? Thank you for the beautiful letter. It gave me something to treasure while my mum made me go hiking. And HFS? HFS? I'm not sure. Um, I love that opera singer. Uh, my parents got me a biography about her for Christmas. A not so subtle, yeah, we know. And and it is romantic as fuck. Does that mean you'll like kill a noble nobleman to earn my eternal devotion or something? Because I wouldn't have been I would have been good with flowers. Uh, P.S. Today was when your class was going horseback riding, right? Let me know how it went. Hmm. I don't think this love story is going to end very well. All right, let's go this way, because for one, it looks like a dead end anyway. Yeah. And two, I think this is the way to the office. Some objects will need a specific item to progress, like a key. Yeah, okay. Or a screwdriver for a key. That's obviously a good hint that we're going to need screwdrivers at some point. Right, that looks like the vent. That's locked. That's locked. Ah, uh, we might need, yeah, need a screwdriver. Okay. Are we going out to then go back in another window? So, that's yellow. So, yeah, made me think you could uh, interact with it. Oh. Okay, that made me jump. Yes, let's not do that again, please. Uh, you can't really hear that. Let's go in. Okay. Right. You know, I'm guessing that breathing is. You know, you got to be careful with. You can't do a lot of climbing. I'm obviously breathing now because I was panicking a little bit from falling, and that's what that symbol's representing, maybe. Do you calm that down? Right, so we did side of this. Looks like we can do something there. Uh -huh. Is this a screwdriver? It is. Nice. That vent with a screwdriver, I could open it and see where it, it takes. It's worth a try. It is worth a try because we've got nothing else of value so far. Right. Do we just pull this down? Oh, we actually climb over. It didn't look wide enough. You're obviously very skinny. Yeah, look at my lungs. It's now going yellow because I've done that. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Let's do that slow. Okay. Right. We're in the vent. Oh, 
hopefully. Oh, nice. Huh. I guess hopefully there's only one way to go, but I think we've gone a way, well, obviously we've gone a way that's given us a best thing here. So we came from there, so this is probably the right way to go. We lucked out there. We get our torch back soon. I mean, that looks like pills, so you would have thought that would have been worth taking. So we're gonna get radio. What is she building? Oh nice a map. So I have to take pills for something. Christ, i had enough of this stupid stomach bug. I must find a way to the infirmary and hope to find some pills. Okay, so it's not like the panic attack type thing. But look at all these pills. I can't take any of these. <laughs> New diary entry. Um, map. There we go. Thank God the rain is covering our noises. This nausea is killing me. And what's worse... I finished the nausea pills Dad gave me. I hope to find some in the infirmary, and I'll take this map with me. If the National Guard is still there, maybe they can help supply the hospital. It could be just what we need. I'll show it to Martin. I love the drawings. We are here, Dad's hospital, and safe. I'm sick of this. You'd think you'd take just all of all of the pills, wouldn't you? Although maybe they'll rattle. <laughs> it's maybe not the best idea. Maggie. I've got the old radio working. All day I changed the frequency over and over again, looking for someone, anyone who could help us. I saw your reflection in the window staring at me. Were you scared of me for killing that man? Accusing me of putting Josie in danger? angry that I didn't have a way to fix it. I stared into your eyes for I don't know how long trying to understand. That's when I heard it through the radio, the National Guard. They have taken over some campgrounds not far from here. They'll take us in and they'll keep Josie safe. They've got medical supplies and a couple of trained soldiers. No raider will scare our son ever again. I'm not going to let you down, Maggie, not this time. So all, everything in bold is obviously what we need to know, which is helpful. <laughs> oh, I like those headphones, though. Um, right. Aha, uh -huh, we've got something key, a key for that room above us. So can we... There we go. Do this quietly as well. But that's not easy actually. Oh, there you go. You have to hold it. Right. Let's go back upstairs. What was that? Jossie, don't make a noise. Just know something's going to happen soon. 
We've got the key to room four, which is here. Oh, Jesus. Black metal, two kitties. For Sarah, by me. Oh, nice. Don't like you trying to read it when you can literally just press the button and it reads it like that anyway. So these collectibles, I'm guessing this is all, yeah, see it says the ranch at the top. So it shows you if you missed anything in each level, that's quite good. I wonder if there's a level select. Towards the end of the game, so you can go back and collect things you've not got. That would be amazing, rather than having to play the whole game again. Hey Sarah, with no H. <laughs> hey, thank God, I'm so glad you liked the letter. And that book sounds amazing. For Christmas, my parents got me a mug with my cat, Mr. Twinkle's face on it. They thought it was hilarious. Me and Mr. Twinkle's were not amused. Oh, and I know that you were, like, probably joking. But I picked this flower for you. I hope it doesn't get too crushed when I put it under your door. The front desk said it's a cardinal flower. Anyway, I hope you like it. Signed, your Malpin. LOL joke. P.S. Oh, it wasn't bad. I think the horse knew I was terrified because it threw me off after like five seconds. That's when I went and picked you that flower. P.P.S. I may pick a few more flowers tomorrow if you want to join after lunch. Bless him. Nice, oh, actually got a shadow. Um, right, so I'm looking here and then we'll go into the next room. Doesn't look like there's anything in here though. No. Okay. I do like it that it's fairly obvious when there's stuff to interact with. I guess in that leads down into the infirmary. Lydia, you okay? My mum's freaking out, saying something fell from the sky. Be safe, Sarah, Pierce. Let's rain check on the flower picking, okay? Oh dear, that's when it's starting, isn't it? I wonder if each area has this, like, story <laughs> that you can follow. If it is, I really like that. Oh, man. It nausea tablets. That's pretty useful. And a pregnancy kit. Fantastic. Was that a pregnancy kit? Yeah, pregnancy test. Actually taking the test. God, surely you're not going to want to be pregnant at this time. This time. Shit. Yeah. That's where the nausea is coming from, of course. Oh God, what am I going to do? Should I tell him? I don't know. For now, I need to find Martin. I'm not, there's nothing else going to be in the diary for this one. We already know that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so I thought there'd be question marks, but there's not. What the hell should I do now? I'm not ready, not now. I can barely take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child in a world like this? What should I do? Mum, I wish you were here. Oh dear. Just 
Look like there's anything else in here. So we've got food. We didn't have the batteries, though, did we? This was locked before. Don't scream. Maybe this is this was a safe pet safe room that they had. Don't scream, not even in the safe room, yeah. Got to sort the candles out, he's sorting the food out. Just breathe, come on, deep breaths, just breathe and light the candles. Safe rooms are places where you can take a moment and relax before going. Blah, blah, blah. I wish those things would stay up a bit longer, but I'm guessing we're good in safe rooms. Pictures. Look at those tragic. The one type of like, oh, you watch like zombie shows and you'd be like, yeah, I could probably do it right there. Uh, but in this kind of world, it's like, mm, maybe not. It's just the. Oh, okay, yeah, so this is, was it Mag Maggie? I can't remember the dad's name. And then Jossie. Yeah, no, yeah, drawings. Okay, so all of these are counting. So what, there's four more in this area. I don't want to, I don't want to light all the candles. Just in case it then doesn't let me pick up more. My dad is the best, better than the rest. He keeps me safe all day, he keeps the monsters away he tells me not to make a peep and protects me when I sleep <laughs> uh, so I can dream of mum because when I sleep she's not gone oh awful so the mum's gone oh, let's just see with the dad Projecting trophy. Oh, look at all the children's drawing in the basement. Okay. All right, so who's that? Uh, so I'm missing one. Oh, I'll be very surprised if I get all of the collectibles in one go. I'm not too bothered about that. Yeah, you feel like I've been pretty thorough on this one, but. Anyway, right. I think that's all of them. Give me your hand. Another prank? Never. this? A glove. You like it? It's so ugly. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. No gift receipt. A 
glove for what? Obviously, for hands. But one glove? Okay. Um, no thanks. Uh, she feels sick. I just don't understand how you can be excited though, because <laughs> scary man. <laughs> yeah, she's got asthma. Physical or mental stress aggravates Alex's asthma. Her condition is represented by the stress icon in the top left of the screen. When Alex's stress becomes critical, she will suffer an asthma attack. Try to keep the asthma stress to a low level by using inhalers and pills. Oh, just when you thought it can get any easier. Any harder, shall I say. Uh, when the stress level is too high, it can lead to an asthmatic attack. Avoid it by pressing R1. With a green result, the asthma stress is reduced. With a yellow result, you'll avoid the crisis, but you're still one step away from it. With a red one, Alex will have an attack. So you've got to get it as close to the middle as possible, I'm guessing the green. Oh, gosh. we we'll get another chance. You know how fast it was going to move. Oh. She's using the inhaler anyway. What should we do? And we'll figure it out. When it cries, mm -hmm. laughs. And we'll keep it safe. How? I don't know, but, but we will. And your mom. She'll be a grandmother. Laura hates you ever since. You saved me that day. Alex, finally, something good. <sighs> They'll need supplies. Will the hospital have them? No, we're low on everything. There's a camp. They'll have supplies. We bring food back to the hospital and we'll go to the camp. Cool. something in your backpack along with the food what no rain mm. got to be quiet That really happen. Am I going to be a first things first? Get back to the hospital. All right. Oh, these are all the other things. Okay, diary entry. Rise and shine. I'm so lucky to have him in my life. Uh, Martin is amazing. I won't say I'm not scared anymore, but knowing he's with me gives me strength. I'm still not optimistic about how Laura will react. But it's her grandchild we're talking about, for God's sake. 
she should be happy, right? Yeah, right. And then some um, noughts and crosses. Noughts and crosses. Right, so we did look at those are the yeah, we looked at all of this stuff. I'm pretty sure. I'm a bit annoyed that I have missed that one, but maybe Right, I'm gonna start walking slower now. Maybe um we'll see up here. It could have been like when he went out to one side of the building, maybe the, the letter was that way, the document. Right, double check. So that was the first one we looked at, but let's we'll want to have a look down here. Because we didn't actually come this way at all. That's weird it turned to me. Yeah, it's not letting me go down. Could be I've missed that one now. Let's try from this angle. No. Yeah, no, it's not letting me go down there. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I don't know how cautious I need to be. Jesus. There goes him. <laughs> and that's the intro. Holy cow. Right, well, I think when this loads back up, I think that that is going to be it for this first video. Day 119. I think we were at 105. Or something like that. Pregnancy test. I know, Alex. I know. How? I'm a doctor. And your father. <laughs> How far along? I don't Two months, maybe. Who else knows? I told Martin.
complicated. I can take care of you here. I'd have to bring down the hospital out of supplies. Have you actually spoken to anyone at this camp? No, but... So we don't even know if the National Guard is still there. I'll... I'll find proof. No. You need to rest. Dad, please. Look, I'll find proof. Tomorrow I'll look for a radio and see if I can reach someone. And if the National Guard is at the camp? One step at a time. All right? You shouldn't have a dead flashlight. I'll get you a battery. No, I'll get it. Are there any nausea pills? A few medics. I'm not sure. Someone broke into the medicine cabinet. Now Mark won't let anyone near it. Okay. I'll collect what I can, so we're ready to leave once you contact the camp. Just be careful. Right, Dad might need convincing, but I want to leave ASAP. I'll go to the storage room and grab some batteries and pills. Okay, right, I'm going to end this video here. It's just saved. I'll read this one quickly. There you go, the hospital. So we're in a new area. We have missed that one document. We've got 36 to find in this one. Um, <clears throat> I had a chat with Dad. Obviously, Dad knew. He's the first person I've told ever since Martin died since that day. Looks like she's crossed that out. Uh, I also told him about the National Guard outpost at the campsite. He wants to help me. Knowing he's on my side is the only thing keeping me going. I've got to get ready to leave this death trap. So he's just got backpack tick, uh, whatever that thing is there with like a question mark. Oh, that's the thing she's working on. Flashlight tick, but we need pills and batteries. Cool. I do like the little diagram she does. It's really cool. Uh, but yeah, I am going to end this video here. Um, first impressions, absolutely loving it. I am drawn into the story. Gameplay seems really smooth at the moment. Hiding from those creatures, I think, is going to be a bit tough, but we shall see. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have, then please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much, and take care.